Tonight, part three of our series on catalytic converter thefts, a two minute crime costing some car owners thousands of dollars. It's maddening. We've shown you the frustrations of the victims, the spike in thefts across the valley, and proposed legislation to crack down on this issue. And now, Fox 10's investigative reporter Justin Lum goes undercover with his own catalytic converter to see if scrapyards are complying with state code. For nearly 30 years, Matt Allen, owner of Virginia Auto Service, has seen a share of crime trends, but this one may be the most brazen. Now, people are carrying the jacks around with them and jacking the car up to crawl underneath it. Three different catalytic converters sawed off from the underbellies of jacked up cars. The suspect caught on camera driving away in a car with camouflage paint near 7th Street in Thomas and Phoenix. This is the first time that we've ever had an incident like this in 28 years. We've had minor things, a car broken into or a long time ago, maybe someone jumped the fence and stole a stereo. But this is the first time something is brazen and is just wide open out there like that. This guy just didn't seem to have any fear. I've been in, uh, in this business since 2011 and I don't have this problem before until 2020, 2021 and 22. Joel Mendoza can relate. He owns a car dealership. He had to move from one location to this one because he says thieves kept stealing catalytic converters. Honestly, like 50 times. Mendoza says he filed about a dozen police reports and spotted a trend with the cars being targeted. Toyota Prius, Kia Sportage, uh, Kia Sorentos, small Kias, Hondas. A handful of his cars are still missing catalytic converters and his business is on pause. The honeycomb grid inside converters are the ticket to cash, containing small amounts of precious metals, platinum, rhodium, and palladium. Police say in many cases of stolen cat converters, thieves are sustaining a drug addiction. I would absolutely say that the majority, the gross majority of these suspects are, are fighting some type of drug habit. Investigators describe a food chain of crime, the converters changing hands through a black market. And I believe this is organized crime. And, and it needs to be investigated. Arizona law states you can't buy or sell a used catalytic converter unless the sale happens in the ordinary course of business by a commercial motor vehicle parts or repair business in connection with the sale or installation of the converter. Violating this code is a class one misdemeanor, but also does not apply to scrap metal dealers purchasing the converter from an industrial account or once it's authorized for release by a peace officer in the jurisdiction of transaction. But thieves trying to make some cash will test the system, and so did we. Fox 10 went undercover and brought this used catalytic converter loaner to a few scrap metal dealers in Phoenix. But will they check my identification, take photos of me, and the catalytic converter, as well as ask for documentation of the license plate of the car transporting the cat converter. Just some of the current requirements. Hey, you guys take the Volkswagen catalytic converter? We won't identify the businesses, but you can hear this employee turn me away, and he has a tip. I can send you to the right spot. We'll get to that spot in a moment. Meanwhile, we found another recycler playing by the rules. How much uh, can I get for a cat converter? Yeah, we don't take catalytic converters here. I know they stopped buying them. It's, it's illegal to buy them publicly. A man doing business at the yard tells me I could try selling it online or... If you got a friend that's a mechanic, give it to the mechanic and say, hey, will you buy this off me for 100 bucks because you can go sell it to a metal place for 200 We didn't need a mechanic at all. Remember that tip? I could send you to the right spot. The recycling yard he told us about is one we visited 30 minutes prior. The owner can't give me an estimate on the cat converter, but suggests taking it to a friend. I would literally have to take it and go find out what it's worth. He says it's illegal for him to purchase it from me, and it appears he's in compliance, turning me down. But then he offers to help. You have to know somebody. You got to know somebody that could take it. He knows a dealer. He could take it from you, but not from me. I take it directly to him because I know him. I'm not going to send me to jail. From my perspective, he's the middleman who can take the cat off my hands and to his guy. He assures me he'll let me know how much the converter is worth, and if I want it sold, it'll only cost me 25 bucks for his connect. That's how it's done usually? Or? Well, yeah, that's the only way you can do it. Unless you want to risk yourself going. In the end, I back out, but this was just one interaction, a sample of how quickly this untraceable catalytic converter can move along for profit with evident loopholes. As we reported on Monday, House Bill 2652, introduced by State Representative Diego Espinoza, has passed the Senate's Transportation and Tech Committee, now on to the Senate's 
Rules Committee. Espinoza says his bill would tighten up loopholes and allow more scrapyard inspections. It would also be illegal to solicit, advertise, or possess a used catalytic converter, which wow. would make what I did uh, illegal if this law was in effect. Yeah. Right, of course. Now, this is big business online, and it's moving quickly. You went online to find out how fast. Yeah, exactly. I put an ad for that catalytic converter on Facebook Marketplace, and within hours, I got about 10 messages. Uh, many people asking me for the reference number that is marked onto that converter, and that is used to determine the monetary value. Actually, one scrapyard looked that up, offered me 250 bucks, but wow. only asked for my identification. That was it. It seemed like we were having a lot of this year ago it kind of went away now it's come back it has to be tied into the price of all those metals all right? about the precious metals and that price that's increasing yeah getting that money